Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. From moving people to hauling massive loads, large-scale cargo lifting planes are absolutely integral to economies and militaries all over the world. One of the first planes that usually comes to mind when thinking of big aircraft is the Boeing 747. However, there are many newer planes that are much larger in scale and capabilities than this former king of the skies. The best example of them all is the AN-124 Ruslan. With the destruction of the Antonov Tu-25 Mariya in March 2022, this aircraft became the second heaviest operating cargo aircraft behind Boeing 747-8F. It stands out, however, as the single largest military transport aircraft in service. The staggeringly large AN-124 Ruslan measures 226 feet in length and boasts a wingspan of 240 feet. With its maximum payload of 330,000 pounds, it can travel up to 2,300 miles. a range that can be extended up to 7,100 miles with lighter loads. While already unique enough given its size, the AN-124 has a few other features that make it a great addition to the Russian Air Force, even while serving other civilian utilities. For instance, it features a special double fuselage that allows the rear cargo door to open mid-flight. This allows for cargo drops at high speeds and impressive altitudes, so the plane can deliver supplies without having to come in for a landing. This is absolutely vital to military operations, as it keeps the plane out of danger while making sure troops on the ground get the equipment they need. The nose of the aircraft also conceals another loading ramp, which allows the plane to transport extremely large pieces of equipment, including other aircraft parts and windmill blades. It also allows the plane to be loaded from both ends, which can drastically speed up the entire process. To most aviation enthusiasts, Russia's design for the AN-124 bears much resemblance to another U.S. aircraft, the Lockheed C-5 Super Galaxy. This is not only the largest plane in the United States Air Force inventory, but it is incredibly versatile. First introduced in the late 1960s, the C-5 is 247 feet long and has a wingspan of around 223 feet and can carry about 281,000 pounds of cargo. To make the loading and unloading process more efficient, the C-5 also features the ability to raise its fuselage nose upwards, well above the cockpit, garnering its nickname, the Knight's Visor. This feature is particularly helpful in loading vehicles like battle tanks or helicopters, as they can simply be driven right up the front of an extended ramp or towed in by a tractor. The sheer size of these planes requires a specific amount of space and runways to operate on, so it may not be able to access certain areas. That's where helicopters can make all the difference. Take the Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion heavy lift helicopter, for instance. First introduced in April 2022, seven years after its first flight in October 2015, this American-made monster aircraft can carry up to 30 passengers or troops at once. 
It can also carry around 35,000 pounds of payload, either inside the cargo hold or using its central external load hook. The helicopter is so advanced that its pilots must undergo special simulation training before being allowed to fly them. What we realized is that this simulator here is as close to the aircraft as any flight simulator I've seen before. What we've seen so far with most pilots, after conducting a reasonable amount of training in the simulator, they walk out to the actual aircraft and they fly it as if they've been flying it uh, for, for a year already. Despite their versatility, helicopters involved in resupply activities hardly match the speed or payload capabilities of their airplane counterparts. So when maritime resupply missions call for more heavy-duty deliveries, the Navy calls in the Grumman C-2 Greyhound. This high-wing, twin-engine cargo plane is 100% dedicated to aircraft carrier operations. It is used for fast and easy transportation of supplies, passengers, and mail, alongside other critical logistics and high-priority cargo to support carrier strike groups. It is one of the planes that can easily land and take off from a carrier's flight deck. It measures 56 feet in length and has an 80-foot wingspan. But thanks to its bulbous design, it can carry up to 28 passengers or 10,000 pounds of equipment in one haul. Since its first flight in 1964, the C-2 Greyhound has received several modifications, like the updating of its propellers from four to eight and navigational updates, including a glass cockpit. However, in 2020, the U.S. Navy started replacing the remaining 27 C-2s with the more versatile, multi-mission tilt-rotor aircraft, the V-22 Osprey. By 2024, the entire Greyhound fleet will have been replaced by Ospreys in their maritime delivery missions. Another method of at-sea, or underway replenishment, utilized by navies worldwide is called the Connected Replenishment, or CONREP. It involves two ships traveling parallel to each other while maintaining the speed, course, and separation gap between each other. A series of heavy lines passed across and connected between them for the transfer. These lines are raised and lowered in order to move equipment, food, fuel, and other cargo between the two vessels. The sailors use signals, radios, and measured lines to make sure the ships maintain a safe distance of at least 180 feet between them at all times. This process requires maximum vigilance due to the dangers involved since the ships remain in constant motion, sometimes at speeds of up to 16 knots. Safety is paramount on an unref station. It is an inherently dangerous evolution. No matter how good you are, no matter how experienced and how safe you are, something could go wrong that you have no control over. Nevertheless, it is fast, easy, and allows for thousands of pounds of material to be moved within a very short time span. Once all precautionary measures have been observed, whether at peacetime or in times of war, these massive vessels have always served the all-important purpose of getting important supplies where they're most needed.
That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.